a middle-aged person presented with bilateral nanophthalmus. Axial lens were about 16 millimeters in both the eyes and he had cataracts. He was taken up for surgery, for cataract surgery and implantation of a very high powered single piece intraocular lens, specially designed and made for his eyes. A Dinan's conjunctival single flap is created in the upper temporal quadrant. 6 mm sclerocorneal tunnel is being created with crescent knife. The sclera is fixated with a very good fixation forceps held at the limbus. There is no supererectus stay anchor suture and uh, uh, the lens is uh, quite thick so the, the tunnel has to be fully 6 mm uh, both internally and externally. Pupil does not dilate beyond this size in spite of putting topical wick of phenylephrine and uh, tropicamide. Uh, retroillumination with the tunnel floor entry technique of, of great utility. The chamber is very shallow but now because of uh, the uh, tunnel floor entry technique it remains deep and formed throughout the surgery. A good rexis can be performed which is uh, circular and is of adequate size. Tunnel floor technique uh, entry technique or tunnel floor pinpoint entry technique is a technique where the cystitome is taken through the floor of the tunnel rather through the full length of the tunnel. The entry point is at uh, and the limbus through the floor of the tunnel. So that's uh, the intracameral 1% lignocaine being injected as it's done under tropical anesthesia. Hydrodissection, capsula separating hydrodissection really helps in removing the bulk of a nucleus and epinucleus. Visco is being continuously injected throughout the next few steps of cataract extraction, uh, like now. The nucleus is uh, prolapsed into the ante chamber using bimanual technique, rotation technique. And uh, as you can see, the visco is continuously being injected. The best visco to protect the endothelium is dispersive viscoelastic of hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose. Visco is being injected now to separate the nucleus in the anterior chamber from the endothelium. It's bisected to two and extracted. It's basically a visco expression, uh, but the uh, nucleus is being guided out by the wire vectors. The remnants of uh, visco in the anterior chamber has to be first removed to prevent its movement which can affect the endothelial integrity. The cortex is easily aspirated with a Simco cannula. Straight as well as the right and left reverse Simco are utilized. J-shaped Simco are utilized. Nanophthalmus is known for toroidal effusion and known for intraoperative high pressure, but this modification technique, I have done uh, many nanophthalmus patients and uh, it's extremely safe. I have never had toroidal effusion or detachment or intraocular positive pressure in any of these uh, patients. Some of them were young, as young as around 20 years. The uh, J-shaped cannula is used to remove the entire cortex. Complete cortical aspiration is essential to maintain the, um, the uh, smooth post-operative recovery. This is a 54 adapter lens. It's very thick and that's implanted. Uh, being a digit lens, we need to take it directly into the capsular bag right in the first go. If it goes to the anterior chamber or into the sulcus, it's extremely difficult to rotate it back into the 
um, capsule uh, bag as per our earlier uh, experience. So the uh, leading loop has to go into the capsule bag and the trailing loop can go into the capsule bag easily by rotation. The lens is rotated in position right, right now and the lens is in the capsule bag, the ideal situation for a large lens like this. The visco is completely aspirated from behind the lens, from the antechamber, from the angle region, so the post-operative pressure spike does not occur. There is only one entry into the eye, which is sealed now using the uh, fibrin glue, component A and B, and uh, the eye is kept open and the medications can start right away. Uh, very rewarding surgery for nana ophthalmos, riskless, and the patients are extremely happy uh, with the results. Thank you.